In this short video, I'm going to rearrange a few trigonometric equations to make x the subject or to make theta the subject. Okay, so sine 50 equals 8 uh, equals x over 8. I need to leave x by itself. So at the moment, x is being divided by 8. So if I do the opposite and times both sides by 8, then I get 8 sine 50 equals x. And I can switch the sides around so that I have x on the left hand side if I want. And I get 8 sine 50. Okay, same principle here. 8 at the moment is being divided by x. So if I times both sides by x, then I move x over to here. So I would have x sine 50, x times sine 50 equals 8. And now to get rid of the what has now become multiplied by sine 50, if I divide both sides by sine 50, then those cancel out and what you're left with is x equals 8 over sine 50. Okay, now how about down here making theta the subject? Well, the, the principle is the same of doing the inverse and the inverse of sine is called arc sine, but we write it sine of the little negative one up there, sine to the negative one, or inverse sine, arc sine, same thing. So we need to do the inverse of sine to the left hand side and we need to do the same to the right hand side. So what you're left with then is because that cancels out, theta equals the inverse sine, the arc sine of 8 over 10. Okay, and over here we've got an extra step. First of all, we need to remove the 8 by multiplying both sides by 8. So then we get sine theta, because that's cancelled out, equals what's left over here. Well, that bit's on the top of the fraction. 8 sine 30 is the correct way to write it over 10. And now we need to do the inverse of sine to both sides. Arc sine both sides. And what you get when these two cancel out is that theta equals arc sine brackets 8 sine 30 over 10 close brackets. That's the end.